All right, so six kilogram midfield, collides with a 55 kilogram forward, starting at four meters second in the opposite direction. The two come to rest after point four second collision. Which soccer player experiences the greatest force during collision will see this speed? So, midfielder, forward. They're probably traveling in the opposite direction as they come to rest, right? Yeah. Right? Because that means one had to have positive momentum, the other one had to have negative, negative momentum. So they, they, they run into each other. They're both at rest after collision. We'll say they end up on the other side if they hit there so hard. Okay. All right, does that make sense, guys? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So, who experiences a greater force during the collision? Uh, they, they. they are equal. Okay. The force from the forward on the midfielder. Yeah, force from the forward on the midfielder is equal to the force of the midfielder on the forward. But what do we know about the directions? Okay. One's positive and one is negative, right? So the directions are opposite. Okay, gentlemen. Thank you. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You can just say Newton's third law. Okay. So this part right here, guys, this conclusion. Can you just say because of Newton's third law? That's all it is. Nope. Not what this test will be about. Can we just say because of Newton's third law? It's exactly what you can say. Okay. So, what was the initial speed of the midfielder? Right? Well, to figure this out, we need to think about the impulse first. During a collision, what do we know about the impulse exerted on the two? The impulse on the midfielder equals the impulse on the forward. It's just one is in the opposite direction, right? So one is negative. So for the forward, impulse is also change in momentum, right? Right, guys? Impulse is also change in momentum, right? So for the forward, we know their momentum before the collision. What was the forward? Oh, why did I do that? What was the forward momentum during before the collision? Fifty-five times four, four right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So for the four, we have p final minus p initial, and for the midfielder, we have p final minus p initial. We know both the finals are zero, right, guys? Yes. So then we know the initial. From the midfielder, two negatives make a positive equals the negative initial of the forward. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. yeah. So the midfielder's initial, and I'll write it over here, the initial for the midfielder equals the negative initial momentum for the forward, which is 55 times 4. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. 55 times 4 is? 220. 220. The midfielder was 60 kilograms, right? Yes. yes. Right? So if we do 60V equals negative 220, divide by 60. Negative 220 divided by 60 is what? Negative 3.6. Okay. So that means that the midfielder had a velocity of negative 3.6 meters per second repeating before the collision. Okay? Does that, does that seem easy enough, guys? Yeah. Yeah? It's basically taking our, or our, our impulse problems and extending them to a situation where you have to know that the impulses of the two objects are equal.